Hey folks, this is Ben with Ben's Campers here in Monongahela, PA on a very windy Saturday morning. Today we're taking a look at this for sale unit at the lot. This is a 1985 Prowler 25N, N is in Nancy. Uh, 25 designated 25 feet long. I'm not sure what the N designates to be honest with you. Um, really baffled on that one but this is a pretty nice unit that we have uh, definitely above average condition for the age and it's at a low price of $2,750 $2,750 uh, as far as 1985 trailers go like I said this thing is pretty pretty nice doesn't mean it's perfect uh, there are some things that aren't perfect on it and we'll show you those uh, as usual we got four brand new tires on it uh, blast it off the rims and hit them with some primer. Uh, the outside of it shows pretty well. It was parked at a campground for many years. Uh, it tows very well. It only weighs 40, just under 4,300 pounds empty, which is pretty surprising for a trailer that's on the bigger end. Uh, you see I blasted off the tongue there and hit it with some primer. Uh, we put a new 7-pin connector on, got all the running lights and brakes and everything uh, working on it. Uh, this corner here in the front is separating. There is some soft wood in there that should be addressed properly. So there's a couple little projects on this one. Some water damage, but not a whole lot, uh, all things considered. I have the grease cap that's missing on there. That popped off when I was working on it. Um, this window is busted here. Uh, somebody stuck some plexiglass on it. I'm going to try to fix that if I have time to hit the hardware store. Yeah, sitting nice and flush on the frame, no sagging. Uh, that's a nice looking camper, really. These are the kind of trailers that I grew up uh, camping in with my family. So I'm just a sucker for them, as you guys know, if you watch my channel, which if you do or if you don't, please uh, subscribe. Really appreciate that, especially if you're looking for campers. You know, that's the best way to see them as I get them for sale. So without further ado, let's go inside. All right, inside the Prowler here, stepping back to 1985. I do have, coming in the mail, all new uh, LED lights for in here. I was running low on bulbs, and a lot of them were burned out, so it will have that as well, but they didn't arrive yet. Uh, this thing's in pretty dang good shape. It has a lot of beds. Now, that used to be a couch. Somebody made it into a bed, and that's a bunk bed above it. Uh, nice kitchen area. The refrigerator does not work. That's the only thing that's not working. Uh, it's trying to work. I can hear it gurgling. Uh, that usually means the ammonia is crystallized. You can pull it out and flip it upside down for 24 hours if you want to do that. Or if you're going to pull it out, it's almost like, well, just put another fridge in there. The ceiling's in really nice shape. It's actually amazing. You don't get too many older campers. Uh, with a nice ceiling and the roof air conditioner does work as does the furnace uh, forced air propane furnace works great it's a bunkhouse camper so you got four bunks or two bunks I guess uh, two twin beds there and the two bunks overhead so as far as what this trailer sleeps I don't know seven a lot of people and it's a rear bathroom model so, somebody stuck a residential toilet in it. Uh, very good condition. Again, you know, floors are nice and solid. Uh, there is some softness to the ceiling up here in the back of the camper. You know, can't be perfect. Can't have a perfect one for you guys. Oh, I'm just kidding. We'll have some real nice ones coming here. This is a nice trailer. It just needs a little TLC. And then again, here under this window, this wall is soft a little bit. A lot of it. It needs a piece of paneling. So, yeah. You know, the word TLC gets passed around a lot. The acronym. Uh, this is truly a camper that just does need some TLC and minor fixes to be very nice. Uh, I want to show you guys up on the roof of this thing real quick. Let's check that out. All right, looking at the roof... Uh, somebody put a, it's like a rolled 
uh, aluminum type of covering on the roof, which I suppose did its job because it does not leak. Uh, I've been in this camper here, had some very heavy rain the last few days, and it is bone dry. Uh, it does need a sewer vent cover right there. Uh, I might have one in the garage there I can stick on for you. Other than that, you know, it's not really what I would recommend putting on an RV. Uh, just because I'm a sucker for originality. However, it's doing the job, so no roof work needed. Uh, nothing major needed on this one, just some minor fix-ups. So I appreciate you guys watching as always. Please like and subscribe. Uh, God bless.